So lately, I have noticed one thing about Google. They don't advertise their product. They just make it and assume people like us would pick it up. Now, most of the times we get it, but sometimes we don't. And Google Now on Tap is one of those underrated product. It has lot of potential, but no one is using it right now. So let's change it, shall we? Hi there, this is Minaw once again, and in this video, I'm going to show you 10 cool new things you can do with Google Now on Tap. Now, for those of you who don't know what it is, well, it is a new feature Google introduced in Marshmallow, which is all about getting more information on your fingertips. Simply hold the home button for a few seconds, and it will give you all the relevant suggestions based on what is on your screen. Though, if you are running a non-Nexus device, you might have to enable it by going to your Google App settings. So now that we have everything set up, let's see what cool things you can do with Google Now on Tap. So from Marshmallow onwards, if you press and hold the home button on the home screen, then it will launch Google Now on Tap instead of Google Now. And here you can do couple of things like set a quick reminder, alarm or even see the ETA to your home or work. You can also find the nearby restaurants or ATMs. Something that I use quite often when I am out on vacation. But if you would like to access your Google cards, then you can also do that by simply tapping on this Google icon. This is probably one of the most basic use of Google Now on Tap. So let's say you are reading an article and you find some terms that you are not aware of. So simply select the word and press the home button. And Google Now on Tap will show you all the relevant meanings, including the images and where you can find more information. Say your friend send you a WhatsApp message asking you to meet at specific time, but you are not good with remembering stuff. Well, no problem. Simply hold the home button, and Google Now on Tap will ask you if you want to set a calendar reminder for that entry. Pretty cool, right? Now let's say you came across a new song on Spotify and want to know more about that artist. Well, then use Google Now on Tap. Simply tap and hold the home button, and it will give you everything you need to know about that song. Including the artist name and their social media handles. Now I don't know about you guys, but I always check the IMDb rating before starting a new movie or TV show, and this is what happens to me quite often. So I am watching a YouTube video, and there is a pre-roll ad for a new movie or TV shows from Netflix. Or let's say you are browsing Netflix only, and before I even want to start considering that movie, I want to know its IMDb rating. And well, to do that, you don't have to jump between browsers. Simply hold the home button, and Google Now on Tap will do that for you. There are few Android apps that doesn't let you copy text from it, like the official Facebook and YouTube app. But what if you want to? Now I know some of you geeks out there would say use Universal Copy app, and then I will say what I usually say: Why use an app when you can do it natively? So simply launch the Google Now on Tap, and then you will see the option to highlight text. Heck, you can even share it with other install application. Something that I use every day to save video suggestions I get from you guys on YouTube. But guess what? The story doesn't end here. If you have noticed, the only reason we are able to select text from an unsupported app is because Google Now on Tap is treating the screen as a image, and this also means you can use Google Now on Tap to extract text from the images, just like a OCR reader. No need to use a third-party cam scanner or Google Keep app. And if it's not a digital picture, then you can launch the camera app and then use the Google Now on Tap to extract text. You don't even have to click the picture, though you will still need the internet access because this image processing is done on Google server. Say you are browsing your old photos, and suddenly you come across a picture that you would like to know where it was taken. Then yes, Google Now on Tap can do that as well. But it can get even better. Simply point your camera at any monument and tap on the Google Now button. 
now for this instance i'm using this picture from google because i cannot go there but as you can see it will give you all the information about that statue So you are reading a news article that your friends shared on Facebook and you want to check its authenticity or let's say you want to see how other media houses cover this topic. So instead of copy pasting the title in a new tab and then searching for it, simply use the Google Noun tab and it will show you all the related articles. Everybody loves vacation, but language barrier can be a little turn off sometimes. Well, check this out. Suppose I am in a foreign land and want to decode some of the text written in the bottom of a statue. Now while other tourists are looking for their guide, you can just take out your Android, open the camera app and hold the home button. And Google Now on tab will translate that for you. You don't even have to install Google Translate. How cool is that? Overall, Google Now on tab does nothing revolutionary, but it does make life better. In fact, Google said the same thing in their event today. Having access to the quick information is going to be future. And I guess we are going to see a lot of information in Google Home, Google Assistant and Google Now on tab. So that's it for now. Give this video a thumbs up if you've enjoyed and don't forget to share this video with your friends. Seriously, Google Now on tab is really awesome and more people needs to know about it. Also, if you are into this less known tips and tricks for Android, then don't forget to subscribe to this channel. I make these kind of videos frequently. So that's it for now. This is me now signing off and like always, thank you for watching.